Hi, welcome to DrivenMavens.com. My name is Arvin, and I'm going to talk to you today about the importance of keeping an active sketchbook. So uh, why do we keep a sketchbook? Well, uh, like we've been preaching on the site that practice makes perfect, right? So we've got the four areas of discipline, drive, determination, discipline, and draw. And this is a, this is a component of the drawing factor. So um, to get better at drawing, it means that you have to draw and to draw you have to keep a active sketchbook so here's one of the uh, sketchbooks that I've got I'm just gonna go quickly through it and I think the important thing is that not just in, in drawing cars I mean which is what the site is mostly about but your sketchbook should be um, should be able to tackle any subject matter you don't have to draw cars you can draw the environment or you can draw things that are uh, around the environment so being mindful of where you're at and just observing what's around you and interpreting the environment that's around you. Just pick up a pencil and just do the best you can and just draw. It's a really good way to get a visual journal of uh, and keep track of your progress as well as just getting down ideas. So here, um, first page here is just um, my brother and my sister-in-law. They live out in Portland, Oregon, a beautiful state and just tons of, of beautiful uh, scenery. So we, I took some pictures and basically just started to section off my, my page and just started drawing um, whatever it is that I saw in the photograph. Sometimes I would just sit there along the coast and here I got little small notations along the coast. And I got Portland trip here to, to the coast and uh, cabin in the forest. And uh, second page is uh, Southern Pacific 4449 and the Oregon Pacific Coast. So these were basically some quick snapshots that I had taken and I just spend maybe uh, a few minutes uh, for each um, for each drawing. You remember on some of the videos I've got um, post-it note sketches, right? So the advantage of, of working small is that you can get your ideas down very quickly without having to invest a lot of time. So the same thing with this book. It's not very large. It's just a nine and a half by six inch pad and you can uh, just fill up a page very easily so we're going to go through here and the important thing is um, it doesn't have to be uh, just drawing you can just it's just about getting ideas down uh, you may have some thoughts or you may have some goals you can start jotting down some of your goals and um, even for you know my blog I had started off with uh, before I even launched the blog, I started to write down uh, little notes of, of layouts, how I wanted to get everything laid out on the blog and so forth, and just getting some thumbnails and some ideas down. So it was a really, really cool way to to just kind of, you know, keep an active visual journal to remind myself of my goals and some of the things that I wanted to do and accomplish. And after that, it was just pretty much uh, just drawing, sketching. You know, doing some quick compositions, getting some darks and lights, getting that contrast and so forth. And then some of this stuff is this all Prismacolor. Uh, taking some other photo reference and just uh, uh, throwing down some um, uh, quick sketches. So each one of these panels, I've just got. Uh, I just continue on and I get some more photo reference and just start to quickly go through and um, fill up the page. Anytime you have a blank page, and this is something that we've been discussing before, it's always intimidating to start off with a blank page. So if you're intimidated, just grab a picture and just draw it. Draw what you see. And these are just studies, tires. We're going to go through some of this stuff. Uh, some of these pictures, this isn't really afraid to show them because they're terrible. <laughs> some of these things are like, oh boy. Uh, most very very rusty so there's some days that I'm very rusty uh, this is another important thing um, when you're drawing or keeping your sketchbook just start going back and working on some of your basics you don't have to always draw a full featured car just start breaking some things down and uh, start drawing some of the basic shapes and how they relate in space so these are just quick sketches some studies Gonna flip through here. I think I drew a, a dragon somewhere here. Yeah, there we go. Once again, it's not car, it's not automotive, but um, it kind of helps to expand your mind and to um, think about uh, other areas. And then the more you can draw other things, the the better that you get into relating uh, three dimensional form in space. Okay. 
So I've got a couple of other books here. Here's another one that another friend of mine, this is really nice, it's a, uh, I think it's even smaller than uh, my previous one. But I got this from a buddy of mine at work. It's a, a small craft notebook paper. And here I just add my darks and just punch things up with the uh, with a pencil, with a white pencil. So some of these things need some work. And I wrote an article about um, about this stuff right here. This is a, a referring to the the ninety segment of amorphous shapes and so forth. <clears throat> so here again. Uh, small you don't have to spend a lot of time you can use it as as a way to kind of test out different ideas and, and different mediums and and just uh, have fun have fun in the uh, exploring process here is an older book that I had that uh, I started off with doing some burn Hogarth boy this is way back in time I think this was back in 2001 uh, where I started uh, creating the sketchbook but I think I was on a I was on a kick. I couldn't draw cars at that time either. <laughs> I was more drawing people and I got into the cars thing um, only later uh, actually. So once again uh, just practicing drawing. Uh, this is where I was trying to practice the technique of drawing through my line work. So um, that means basically you start off you uh, look at some of the shapes and I would time myself Let's see, how long would it take me for me to interpret this picture? Muhammad Ali, one of my favorite um, boxers and one of the greatest, of course, of all time. So anyway, that's uh, it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Remember, get out there and get yourself a sketchbook. Keep active and then start drawing. If you don't have a sketchbook, uh, go out there to uh, any bookstore and uh, go ahead and grab one. And just start drawing or even just start collecting your ideas. Start organizing your thoughts and uh, figure out what you want to draw. Or, or if you can't think of what you want to draw, just go outside and just draw anything you want, right? I mean, that's all what it's about. It's just getting some practice in and enjoying the uh, process of learning. So hope to see you here next time on DrivenMavens.com, and uh, we'll uh, talk to you again.